I find myself thinking about it almost every day. I am so incredibly lucky to have experienced this. It's definitely changed a lot of how I think and how I act. I'm 17 and I'm in high school. So, you know, the obvious questions that are on my mind is, you know, what school do I want to go to? What do I want to study? What am I going to be doing for the rest of my life? <laughs> it's a little bit daunting. You don't exactly know what you want to do or how you want to do it and, you know, exactly what life holds in the cards for you. I mean, sure, it'd be cool if you knew exactly what you're going to do, but, you know, then where's the adventure in that? And I'm just kind of waiting to see what's going to happen and then how you're going to react to it. Because that's really all you can control is how you're going to navigate things. Going down a river is kind of like an allegory for life. Like you don't, you don't know what's around that next bend. You don't know what's gonna happen. All you can control is how you're reacting with everything. When you first start in the Grand Canyon, you're kind of overwhelmed by just the natural beauty and just being completely emerged in this immense thing. It's just getting kids out of their comfort zone and exposing them to new experiences and new people. And it's that magic that happens on a trip where you become a family. It's not for at-risk youth, it's not for wealthy youth, it's for any youth, because any youth can benefit from a river trip. That's the goal, is how do we inspire curiosity about the place and about each other. But we're just trying to see what's out here. So I'm standing on this rock, I'm scraping the sand and algae off, and just the current's taking it into this net. What are the little wormies doing in The question was asked when we first started doing this, about 10 years ago, you know, can kids do quality data collection that is useful to scientists? Did anybody get any black flies? Yeah, we did. You did? Sweet. And they've got the special opportunity to take part in science in this new place that they're discovering. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. This kind of made me realize that everything depends on really little things, like Tiny little bugs can control the whole fish population of a river. You start to ask questions about one thing. How is that connected to another insect? How is that connected to the birds or the fish or the bats? It's an exposure to science in a positive way. And those opportunities are more and more rare for our youth. And not that every kid on this trip is going to go out there and be a scientist, but every kid on one of these trips is going to have a sense of awareness of the place and what's here and what goes on here, and they're going to take that with them. GCY is really helping kids truly understand how exactly all of this works and what we can do to help it. It kind of boosts your confidence to go around in your own community and kind of figure out what you can do to help things there. Being on the GCY trip just kind of created this awareness for me from like where our water comes from. The Colorado River, the water gets pumped, you know, all over the country to feed a lot of different communities. And I have this giant reservoir in my backyard, so where does that water go? You know, then how am I using it? So I think that sort of sense of adventure kind of made me want to discover, it made me want to learn more about the world that I live in. And I think I'm a lot more conscious now because of it. When I see a river, I don't just see water. I see an entire ecosystem. Once you kind of gain that knowledge that whatever water you're using you know, in your community is water that's not going into that ecosystem, you become I become a lot more conscious of how I'm using water. 
but just how amazing it was and those moments that I had where I was really able to reflect and kind of find pieces of myself in the canyon. Those moments are so important to me and I never want to lose those kind of moments. So I know that no matter where I am in my life, what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, I will be seeking out those opportunities to experience those moments.